Hello everyone, Fountain Pen's writing here with a new Fountain Pen review. Today we are going to take a look at the Gravitas Fountain Pen's Silver. Stay tuned. The pen arrives in this grey tube with a word of thanks from Ben Walsh, the owner of Gravitas Pens, on the top. Nice touch. On this cardboard package you can see this peculiar pattern that actually is the ancient Celtic language called Ogam and it means Grafitas Pens, yes, with F. On the bottom there is the logo and the name of the company and on the other side there is more information about the model, a QR code with a link to the company. On the top you can read a small text written with this ancient Celtic language in addition to writing designed and assembled in Dublin, Ireland. When you take off the tube, you can see the pen held in place at the bottom of this tube. Along with the pen, Ben provides a package with six Pelican cartridges and a converter is already installed in the pen. And I even got a nib test. The design of this package is really great. Not only is it recyclable, but very functional and not only for this pen. I use the base of this package at work to hold the pen I use. Now let's move to the pen. The pen has a clipless torpedo shape with the ends quite pointy. It is made of anodized aluminum with a nice matte finish that is enjoyable to the touch. And bend it into the end of both cup and barrel there is a protective finial, a little ball made from silicone nitride, which protects the pen in case of accidental drops and also a nice feature to the overall design of the pen, something you don't see very often. The cap tapers up gently and then the pen is straight to this point where it tapers down. Even the transition between the cap and the barrel is straight and smooth. At the bottom of the cap there is the company logo the only mark you can see on the pen. The cap unscrews with about a turn and a fifth, revealing the section made of aluminum. The section has a very slight flare and rises just a bit to the very well machined metal threads. And you can see another peculiarity of this pen. The section meets the barrel with a 60 degrees step. This should allow you to hold the pen comfortably for a long periods of time. Then we have the nib, the standard Yovo number no. 6 stainless steel with its classic ABS feed. Now let's take a look at the measurements of the pen and compare it with two other popular pens. The Gravitas Fountain Pen Silver is on the edge of being an oversized pen. Cap it it is slightly thicker than a Lamy Safari, it is almost as thick as the Platinum's cup and longer than both of them. Uncapped, the pen is longer than both of them due to the longer section. The pen is not designed to be posted. The pen has a nice weight in the hand, is well balanced and the design of the section of the barrel is ergonomic, it just feels good in the hand, whether you hold it very high or low. The threads are not sharp at all and this particular step really helps you if you hold the pen so high. The nib is a 1.5 stub but quite rounded, therefore I decided to use a script that doesn't need sharp edges. A script that resembles the writing style of the famous Lord of the Rings. The nib does not have sharp edges and even though it is a stub nib it is quite smooth. There is obviously the typical feedback 
of a stub nib on the paper because the larger amount of tip touching the paper when writing. But this particular nib forgives you if you tend to rotate the pen slightly. It won't be scratchy. For all my writing sample I use the Waterman Blue to get a consistent comparison between the nibs to see if they are dry or wet. This nib is moderately wet. Of course, there is much more ink on the paper on the vertical lines than on the horizontal ones, but in both cases, the nib remains moderately wet. The nib is stainless steel and it's rigid. It also offers another line variation due to, well, being a stub nib, so there is no sense in pushing the nib to flex it. Overall, this craft as font and pen silver has a lot to like about it. Starting from the very functional and eco-friendly packaging, through the minimalistic and ergonomic design, to the pleasant writing experience with this particular nib. It is also mandatory to add Ben's enormous willingness to deal with his customers and his incredible prolificness in releasing new finishes for his pens as well as new models. This pen is well made, well machined, well balanced, it is a great quality pen. Now, I want to be very, very, very picky. I have noticed that I tend to squeeze the section of the pen while writing. I do this unconsciously, even though the section is not slippery. Maybe it's because it's metal, but I'd prefer a section with a little more texture or some sort of glue to trick my uh, subconsciousness into allowing me to grip the pen in a relaxed way. At the moment of this review, the Gravitas pens are only available through the Gravitas website. I paid the full price, something more than 80 euros, including VAT and shipping, but with this fountain pen I consider the overall value that I've got higher than the price paid. So for me it is a good deal. And that's all. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it please consider leaving a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.